from my YouTuber voice. Hello! Hey! This is how I talk. This is how I talk. Hi everybody, so today we're going to talk about 10 things that I wish that I knew before I studied abroad. So, obviously this is going to be like... It's gonna be like a part one because I'm only halfway through my experience. I am lucky enough that I actually got to come home for the holidays because I am going back. I'm going back to Edinburgh in like a month. And after that, I'll be there for way longer than I was for the like the fall semester. So I wanna make a video from the perspective of somebody who's going for a whole entire year. And obviously some of these tips will, they'll come in handy if you're only going for like four months or three months, but Going for a year as, I'm gonna say like a North American is, it's kind of rare. Like I I have barely, I have talked to like a, maybe like a handful of people who are doing this for a year. And I don't know if it's just like our education system or the way that like our college credits are signed up, but it's, it's a lot harder to go for longer and like still graduate in time. Jumping right, right in. Going for a year is like a weird amount of time because it's not a semester because if you go for a semester like it's a little bit less like it's a little more like hey, I'm, I'm only here for a semester like i'm just gonna do whatever i want and, like you know talk to as many people as i can and you know it's in those situations like it's good to make friends with other study abroad students who are also like in your city because a lot of the times like you want to travel you want to go other places and those are the people that are probably going to be more down for that rather than like students who actually go to the school and are there for school <laughs> it's just like you going to like your home university you're not you know jetting off to i don't know where you would jet off to in the u.s we we have i guess like road trips and stuff but like not every weekend i don't know so starting with my first piece of advice is number one is i would say yes to as many things as you can so back in like august or like uh like july i watched this movie called yes man with jim carrey and i think it's on netflix still <laughs> Um, just as like, I don't know why I watched it. It was just like there and I was like, hey, what's this? And it's about this character and he's just kind of like stuck in a rut in his life. And so he goes to this like weird meeting where there's like this like, it's kind of like an MLM. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, don't take my word for that. But like, it's it's a little culty vibes. And basically they, they have this like whole philosophy of like saying yes to more things to like open up, you know, avenues in your life. And like while the movie ends in chaos, but it does have a good moral, so I would watch the movie. But I, I took away from that is that you things can happen when you say yes to things that you wouldn't necessarily say yes to. And I think that like studying abroad, like that is a big thing for me. And I am an, an introvert, like for sure. I'm I'm a confident person, but like I like there's just like certain things I'm like I don't need to do. That. Like I don't I I know myself. Like I don't I will not enjoy that scenario or that situation. I think a part of this is like putting pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Like no matter what your comfort zone is, because whether you're you know an extrovert or an introvert or like you've traveled a lot or traveled none at all whatever your comfort zone is like try and go outside of it and if someone invites you to go do something like just to, like i think a lot of the times in my head i like weigh the like weigh the the pros and cons but i would say when you're on study abroad like that first couple of weeks and like keep this energy throughout you're gonna run out of energy like trust and believe but I think that just like not thinking and saying yes to things and just going and doing something like you normally wouldn't like is part of the fun and I have a lot of cool memories now because of things like that because of moments like that so that is definitely my number one tip. Okay, number two is get comfortable with independence. So you will be doing everything by yourself. Um, I know some people go with friends but most likely if you're going for a year to a brand new country, that's a little scary. And I definitely had a, a bit of a crisis, not a crisis, but like you get to like your room and you're like oh like I'm alone in a foreign country and like I, I made a video about this you can watch it but it's it's definitely like a little it's a little shocking like I can't believe I did this to myself like why did I do this <laughs> but like then it gets good it gets really good yeah I think getting comfortable with independence like getting comfortable just like like being your own cheerleader if that makes any sense like a lot of the times like if you're at school and you have a roommate or you have you know like a best friend or something like that like you can lean on them and if you're having like a hard day like you go to them and you know you might have that like i definitely i made friends like not even I think, yeah like eventually like you know it takes time to like make those like close friendships that you feel like you can like you can really like confide in people i would say so you know having those moments where like you're having a hard day and just you have to get kind of good at like like hyping yourself up and um just get comfortable with, with that feeling because you know that's a uh, that's life 
Number three, so when you're going to study abroad, I will say that it is, just know that it's okay for it to feel kind of like boring and like real life. Um, I definitely struggled with this just a little bit. Like I, you know, was just like trying to like go and do my thing. But you know, when you're there, you start following a lot of people who are like also on study abroad or like your friends are also studying abroad and you're like, oh my gosh, like they're just having so much fun all the time. Like, and yes, it's a really fun, I'd say like it's probably some of the most fun that I've had in college so far, but some days are just normal. Like some days I have to wake up and I have to write a paper and like do work so I can pass because like I'm there for a year, like I really can't. Well, even if you're there for a semester, like you can't really mess it up because then that'll kind of like mess up your trajectory for your college degree. So like there are some days where like you have to kind of like narrow in and you know, focus on your schoolwork and yeah, it can feel a little boring. Like there are some weeks where like not a lot's going on and you know, it's just like a normal Monday, but you're living in a new city. And I think that's okay. And I think it's part of the fun. Like, you know, it's, it's more than a trip because like you find yourself making new habits and like having, like building a new life in this new city, which is kind of cool, but sometimes it can feel normal, which is like, don't feel bad about that. Cause I, I definitely had moments where I was like, I kind of feel bad that I'm not like, I don't know. <laughs> like, like, why do I like literally, why do I feel guilty about like not having fun? <laughs> Sometimes you have to do work. Like, I, I feel, I try, I have, I find new ways to feel guilty about things like every day of my life. <laughs> why do I do this? I don't know. I have no idea. Number four, I got this advice so much over again. Like people were like, yeah, like you'll go to this new place, but like, you won't become a new person. And like, that's just, <sighs> Like it hit, you know what I mean? Like you will go to this new place and you will still have your same problems. You will still be you. You will still have your own insecurities and you know, things that you need to work on. And that's okay. Like, you know, just, you gotta keep going and it, it'll be good. <laughs> But yeah, there are definitely moments where I'm like, oh, like, I'm gonna be like so fun and like free and easy. And then like, I'm sitting there, like I'm feeling guilty because I'm not having fun. Like, <laughs> you know, like it's like those moments where I'm like, okay, like you still you, yeah. <laughs> Number five, so spend your money on experiences. So if you have a budget, you know, it can be really tempting, especially in Edinburgh, like you, you know, to go shopping and you know, I definitely have, but I think like if you have money set aside for study abroad, like spend it on experiences, you know, if you have a free weekend to go and see a new city and eat the food and see the shows and just, you know, like, make new memories like i would say that is that should be your number one priority because that is just like that's what it's about so yeah i would say that that is my tip okay so number six is going to be make friends with all kinds of people so i made friends with like other study abroad students other international students i actually weirdly met a lot of people from like my area in maryland which is really funny like i think i've met like maybe up to like 10 people from like my direct area yeah you know it's it can be a little tricky because when you make like i made such great friends this semester who like were also on study abroad but like unfortunately they were only there for the fall semester and you know what like we had such a nice time and like i made some great memories this fall semester um so like like just don't worry about that like go and like meet people that you connect with and like go have fun like go travel go see the world make some cool memories make a new friend and that's sort of my advice with that okay so number seven embrace the temporary <laughs> embrace the temper temporariness embrace the temporary aspects of life that's how i'm gonna rephrase that sentence i think that for me personally <laughs> you guys if you've been on my channel for long enough like i had a year of college and then my second year like was cut off by covid and then i took a gap year and now i'm here <laughs> so when i go back my senior year of college like i'm gonna have another year of temporary living <laughs> just a little just a little spicy you know <laughs> nomad <laughs> That's what I'm rebranding re my life as my, my, I'm a nomad, you know what I mean? I will have lots of practice on, um, you know, re remaking a life for myself, you know, re-meeting people and, which next year will be a little different because like I, I know the city, I know my routines and like have a job and things like that. But, um, there are moments where I get like a little scared, not like scared, but like, yeah, like it's a little, it's a little, um, weird to like only go to a place for a year and like, I feel like a semester is a little bit 
like that's really temporary but like a year is like a little bit longer to like settle into a place and like really get comfortable but then like have to say goodbye like it's a little weird but i think that i it's it's giving me practice and just like trying to be present and trying to like just focus on what's right in front of me and just enjoy myself because that's all you, that you can do and hopefully that's a skill that will like translate to my actual life next year but yeah it's definitely good practice in that number nine is to balance travel in your home country versus other places so i didn't really travel that much out of the country because as of right now the covid restrictions are a little bit difficult to deal with but a lot of people say this and i think that because of covid right now a lot of people weren't like jetting off to different countries on the weekend and a lot of us just spent a lot of more time like actually exploring like the city that we, we were in and it was really cool like we got to like see a lot more of our city than than maybe study abroad students like usually would see because kind of the whole point of studying abroad is like to go see other places too because you're in europe like if you go to europe like it's very easy to travel around and see other places but honestly spending a little more time like just in edinburgh in scotland has given me a lot more like a lot more moments to appreciate the actual place that like i i went to go to and like i'm going there for a year so like it's a little different but still oh they're doing construction literal jackhammering Okay, well, I think I got to eight. <laughs> and I definitely, this video is long enough. So I am going to say goodbye. If you have any more questions about like studying abroad and like I wanna make like more like legit travel tips. Like these are more like floaty, like life lesson, like travel tip. I have like concrete ones, like of things for you to join, things for you to do. Like I have all of those ideas in my head. So if you have any questions or like you want me to further elaborate in another video, please comment down below and subscribe because I post new videos every Friday. Thank you for watching.